Fusion Energy has the potential to change the world. It will be a nearly limitless source of clean electricity. We've made enormous progress, and we are entering an exciting new era for fusion energy development. We're testing new ideas, using some of the most cutting edge technology in the world, and doing things that have never been done before. In recent years, D3D has done a lot of work uh, advancing our understanding of how fusion reactors will work. Right now, we're making some major upgrades to the facility in terms of our hardware that will help us learn how to sustain high power fusion plasmas indefinitely. Uh, this includes changes to the way that we're going to heat the plasma, like this neutral beam injector here next to me. Also, it includes uh, new changes to the diagnostic system so we can measure the plasma properties and understand what's going on. D3D is a tokamak, which is a donut-shaped magnetic vacuum chamber that uses magnetic fields to contain superheated gas. This gas is actually a plasma, just like the sun, but more than 10 times hotter, which creates fusion. We use those gyrotrons to inject microwaves into the plasma to heat it, drive current, and to control small instabilities before they cause any problems. Those gyrotrons are very powerful. Each of them has about a thousand times more power than a New York kitchen microwave. But we've realized they will work even better if we change the location where the microwaves enter the plasma. Right now, we're installing some new diagnostics on the tokamak. These are going to help us make better measurements so that we can create the best conditions needed for fusion. Part of the reason that D3D looks so complicated is that we have a lot of diagnostics. We have over 80 diagnostics that are used to measure plasma behavior. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. So this is the inside of a fusion reactor. The reaction takes place right here inside this donut-shaped vessel. It's amazing to realize how much thought and engineering has gone into every single component of D3D. So right now we're installing some new magnetic sensors, new instruments that will measure light coming from the plasma, and new heating systems. It looks like a big mess right now, but just a few months, all of these upgrades will be coming together and we'll be back to making a small sun right where I'm standing. D3D is the most flexible and highly instrumented tokamak in the world. It has played a key role in the development of the fusion path. But this next set of upgrades that we are installing now will allow us to go to the next step to understand how to sustain a hot burning plasma indefinitely. The next generation of tokamaks includes projects like ITER, which a global alliance is building right now. ITER will be bigger and hotter than D3D in order to achieve self-sustaining fusion. Offering the prospect of unlimited fusion power, a new dawn in the era of fusion energy.